I want you to imagine a world where a child can't say I love you or show physical love with a simple hug. Now imagine a place where that child can learn to give a hug or tell their parents for the very first time, I love you. That's what Firefly Autism in Denver strives to do each and every single day. April is National Autism Awareness Month, and we'd like to welcome our good friend from Firefly, Jesse Ogus. Nice to see you. Good morning. Hola. Good to see you. Also, we have Dr. Amanda Kelly and Cindy Cravel. Nice to see all of you. Thank you for being no, here on this important topic. Us. So, what is Firefly Autism for those who don't know, Jesse? Uh, Firefly Autism is a uh, day treatment facility right in the heart of Denver. We're literally off of Yale and I 25. We work with babies 18 months to uh, 21 years of, of age in the center, and we practice a methodology called applied behavioral analysis. We have four significant um, center-based programs. Early childhood is a blended program where we use the Early Start Denver model and ABA combined to, mm -hmm. to get those babies ready, back integrated into the school system. And tell me more about the services you provide. It sounds like you do a lot. We do. So we also work with um, nine school districts currently, and that's expanding um, in our center-based school program, uh, school age program, and then we have our social skills program that happens after school and on the weekends, mm -hmm. and then Dr. Amanda Kelly's program, which is the home uh, based service program that works with literally hundreds of students every year. And Dr. Amanda, tell me, what is your role again with Firefly? Explain it a bit more. Um, so I'm the director of our home-based services, so I oversee all of our um, board-certified behavior analysts and registered behavior technicians who go into the home and work in homes. So how do you help the students and the families? Um, so all of my, like my team, we work in home. Um, so. We, um, you know, implement behavioral strategies and we have a strong focus on both um, individual therapy and parent training. Mm -hmm. So when we do parent training, um, we make sure that the parent understands everything that we're doing and they can implement all of the techniques that we do. So when we leave, they can be successful. Um, Very nice. That's wonderful. You have a great group here, oh, Jesse. I'm glad you brought them I love today. Them. And Cindy, this girl, <laughs> she has a major fundraising campaign this month. Tell me a little bit about Laugh Yourself Blue. What is it all about? Laugh Yourself Blue is our big gala event, which is coming up in two weeks. And uh, yes, that's April 21st at the Sewell Ballroom, the DCPA. And uh, we start out with cocktails and then we move into a silent auction or we have at the same time, we brought one of our amazing silent auction items here. This is a guitar that was um, donated by Chuck Morris and signed by Carrie Underwood. Oh, <gasps> wow, how Fantastic. cool is that? Would you pick it up so we could see the signature? Be very careful with it, but just pull it up by you <laughs> so we could see. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, she dented your guitar. <laughs> and so that's up for auction. That is up for auction. This is going to be a hot item. And uh, so then we also have dinner and we have a, a short program. We like to keep things rolling. Right. And then we like to. We end the evening with a comedian and laugh yourself blue. Blue is the color of um, the Autism Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. But the laughter part, we feel it's important at Firefly because we do such positive things for children that we, um, we remember the happy part of, of autism. And Absolutely. we like to end the evening celebrating and laughing. And we have two fantastic comedians, Johnny Sanchez and Dr. Kevin Fitzpatrick. Uh, Great. Both yeah, they're known. both spectacular. Yes, uh -huh. All right, we'll get you more information about how to get tickets to that. But Jesse, if somebody wants to get involved with Firefly, uh, how do they do that if they want to reach out and they need help? You know, there's there's many ways that they do that. So ordinarily, a, a family's introduction to autism is their diagnosis. And then most families today are pretty savvy on the Internet. So they'll go on the Internet, they start searching, Firefly pops up. And literally, Denise, we are fielding calls every day from families who are getting diagnosed. Um, and so we become a conduit of resources. And so we connect them with sister organizations, whether they're coming to Firefly or not. And we, we open the we open the door for them to um, an array of services that not only Firefly provides, but that they can find throughout the community. Um, they can call, they can go to our website, uh, firefly.org, www firefly <laughs> org, and, and they can start uh, fireflyautism.org, thank yes. you. And they can start the, the research right then and there. 
Very nice. Well, I'm so glad that you're out there helping others, and Thank you have you. a great team, great person I, helping that team do. too. We do. Laugh yourself blue and support Fly, Firefly Autism Thursday, April 21st at the Sewell Grand Ballroom. For tickets and sponsorship information, please head to this website. Go to FireflyAutism.org. That's FireflyAutism.org. Firefly Autism holds an open house on the fourth Tuesday of each month between 4:30 and 6:30 p.m. If you plan to drop by, call 303. 3-7591192. That's 303-759-1192 or visit fireflyautism.org for more information.